I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? Ah, oh, that's great news. We can use anything you can offer. Your generosity is... Uh, well, I, I just can't thank you enough. I appreciate it. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly pack up and try to get out of here without being noticed. That's assuming that Joshua won't try to stop me. And that he hasn't talked you into fighting the White Legs, despite what I've said. Don't worry, I don't hold it against you. You're a... an outsider. Fighting seems like the practical solution. I'll tell you again. There's more at stake. Why? Haven't you seen enough of what's going on here to see that the Sorrows don't need to butcher the White Legs for a piece of land? What Joshua wants is more than an attack. He wants a slaughter. And he needs more than you and the dead horses to do it. The Sorrows can't be pushed into this. You and Joshua don't have the right to force them into it. Please, consider what I'm saying. I've already explained to them that we're leaving. They've accepted it. What is Joshua going to tell them about being a warrior? What are you going to tell them about how to live with themselves after they got lost in the moment, killed someone who didn't deserve to die? Or does that not matter? Is that just an acceptable consequence if it means holding on to this valley? Maybe there is no place left in this world for mercy. But even if it tramples me into the dust, I will never accept it. And I will never condone it. Joshua must be waiting for you. I'll stay here with the others as I told them I would. Thank you for this. I know Daniel doesn't approve, but destroying the White Legs is the only way to ensure the Sorrows can remain in Zion. You and I will lead a group of dead horse warriors and Sorrows hunters into Three Marys from this position. Our objective is to find the White Legs leader, Salt Upon Wounds, and prevent him from fleeing. Show no quarter to the White Legs we come across. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination. God be with you. The time for talk is past. The Lord's work must be done.